The Golden State Squad coming through the tunnel earlier with the Warrior faithful anxiously awaiting their arrival on the floor. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Stephen Curry. And guys, he's regressed a little bit offensively. He hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier in the season. He's lacking the edge that he had, and he needs to change his mindset. Stop sitting back and get into attack mode. So we'll look at our starters for the Knicks. They've got Dante DiVincenzo. Achua is out there with Hartenstein. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's Brunson in a point guard. And for the Warriors. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Wiggins is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Green in at the five spot. Well, we know this time of year, Brent voters are considering their options for the yearly awards. And as I know, and you know, that is a challenge. I've had a chance to vote, Kevin, and it is really impossible to try to decipher what it is that you want to put the most value in with so much incredible talent around the league and with these kind of performances. It's tough, and voters have their work cut out for them. Now here's Brunson. In the game against Sacramento, very impressive. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Yeah, saw the box score of that game the next day, and I thought, wow, that's a huge scoring night. Pretty impressive stuff there. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Runs in the bounce back. And vision such a key part of Brunson's game as the point. And it's Golden State's ball. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Kaminga sends a screen for Curry. Kaminga the pass to Thompson. Four on the shot clock. Here's Curry with the three. We play just over a minute here in the first. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark here in Dallas and that that has triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive game is growing. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 31-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Curry against Brunson. Going inside, and the layup is good. Something about Brunson on the drive. He's just so fiery with the ball. Nothing's going to get in his way. Kaminga sets a screen for Thompson. Outside Curry. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. in the pass to want to know and he gets the basket officials blowing the whistle so a chance at the line for one more and the muscle that Ananobi possesses fantastic at gutting it out through contact and finishing for one the next shooting their first free throw of the game right now yeah pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78 percent Free throw, no good. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it's getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. 
Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. Achua, the pass to Brunson. No good on the three. Warriors leading by three. Wiggins dishes to Kerr. Back to Wiggins. Thompson against Ananobi. The pass to Kerr. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Achua. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Passes to Achua. Launches a three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Three points. Brunson's got his third assist on the night. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Green. Feeds it to Kirk. And to Kaminga. Brunson against Kirk. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And it's off from three-point range. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Brunson against Curry. Brunson, good. And mixing it up down low, Brunson, not the tallest guy on the floor, but he can finish around the basket. Coming of the pass to Curry. Green with a screen on Brunson. Curry with the bounce pass. And it's Green missing. For New York, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. One of three left to play in the first quarter. And again, it's New York. Brunson making the right call. The pick and roll gets him totally set up. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And here we look at Hartenstein. He can do a little bit of everything for you. Hardenstein, probably the biggest skill he has that I see often is the playmaking ability. So he'll rebound and be physical, but all of a sudden sneak a pass in there with a great assist. Substitutions here. And we've got a moment now to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for Josh Hart. What a great trend it's been for him in terms of his rebounding. He's been getting after it on the glass these past few months. His numbers are way up, and that makes him so much more effective as an all around contributor. finds Paul. Here's Curry. Can they get it? Good, and Paul gets the assist. Curry's got six. I mean, what's new? Steph, three more. Brunson against Paul. Here's the lob to the hoop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. He pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Paul against Brunson. Fires from 14, and the jumper falls for him. Yeah, hard to stop CP3 when he's in the rhythm and he's in the mid-range. 
It's a deuce. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Down low. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Here's Curry. Six points for him. From outside the arc, the shot no good. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Nick's out front, up three. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Here's Paul. Eight points his last outing. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Bogdanovich out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's McBride in at the two guard. Paul left side off the mark his first miss of the game one for two so for New York their last game a win against Sacramento and let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge thank you Kevin New York City remains a basketball mecca NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment he says Coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Al Paul. After Jalen Brunson missing on that last three-pointer. The inside game of Stephen Curry. Well, Steph's willing to hurt you from the mid-range. Look, if you're going to be that open, he's going to take the shot. Pass to Hart. Here's Sims. Pat Donovich wide open. Cans it from downtown. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to four now for the Knicks. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Timeout called the Warriors.
checked in for the Knicks. OG Ananobi comes in for Josh Hart. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some, some have argued for changing the charge rules. Could you see that? You know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. I like the former idea. Uh, it seems less extreme. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Brunson against Paul. Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. That's some classic Chris Paul in action. Reading the floor and finding the opening. Brunson surveying the D. Shot from 12. And the shot will not go from on an open. The Warriors trailing. Curry dishes the ball. Kaminga sets a screen for Paul. Back to Curry. Shoots the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists now in this one. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Now here's Brunson. Six points for him. Offensive rebound. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Wiggins finds Paul. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. Curry! Uh, what else is new? He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. When you look at Chris Paul, uh, what sets him apart from other point guards? Well, he's just such a master of not only the mid-range, but delivery. Brunson. Outside Curry. A three. Drills the three-pointer. Curry's got the lead up to seven now for the Warriors. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. checked in and let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for Draymond Green he's one of the standouts over the last month he's averaging seven points a game eight rebounds and six assists they're loving how he's running the show here his sensational passing really breathing life into their offense something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he's in the game a great conduit for them offensively he knows where everyone is at all times Here's McBride. He has yet to score. Ananobi passes to McBride. Just five to shoot. Looking to end the run. And Paul pulls it down. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here. And you can see, not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possession. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. 
Now, here's Ananobi. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Achua with it. Defended by Kaminga. DiVincenzo can't hit it. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's Green. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Hi. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And for a team in the NBA's biggest market, Brent, amazing that it's been five-plus decades since the Knicks' last time. Right, that's unbelievable. I mean, they've been close a couple times, but that has not been in recent history, Kevin, as you know. They've had a lot of great players, but, man, it just shows you how hard it is to win in this league. The latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. Brunson's checked in. Fifty six seconds left to play here in the half. Wiggins against Ananobi. To stop the drought. The shot's good from Brunson. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Outside Curry. Shoots over Brunson. And Curry the bucket on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Even Genzo with it. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. To the left wing. Just five on the clock. Here's Brunson. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got four rebounds in this game. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Brunson, a pesky defender, keeping those hands and feet active. And so we wrap up the first half. Warriors ahead. 22. They finish off the second quarter on a 20-5 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hello everybody, we're here to break it all down and through the first half of play it's a very commanding lead for the Golden State Warriors. Well, they're winning with better offense. They're moving the ball well, getting high percentage shots. This is what efficiency looks like, guys. Near flawless execution, no doubt about it. But we still have another half to go. And now let's take a moment to look into the future. Here's the upcoming schedule. 
and that game against the Nuggets. When you look at both teams collectively, it seems like a toss-up. It could come down to individual matchups. Yeah, there is some serious star power in this one. Feels like somebody's going to step up and have a monster night. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead curry has been sensational really impressed with the shot selection through the first half just taking what he can get from the defense yeah i'm thinking back to the first half and wondering did he take a low percentage shot everything efficient and there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Warriors leading by 12. Out on the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Green is out there with Kaminga, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. That's the Warriors' five. Now here's Curry, and a wide-open look here for Wiggins. That three off the mark. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. New York moving the ball around. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's Hartenstein. And there's the pass to Brunson. Five on the clock. Up and in on the layup. Brunson's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Knicks. Golden State's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Green dishes to Curry. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got 10. Yeah, D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Brunson. Ten points for him. Here's Hartenstein. And Brunson operating so comfortably there in the pick and roll. Warriors leading by 11. Wiggins outside. Green with a screen for Wiggins. Green left side. Wiggins has a screen for Green. Basket good. Curry's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. What else can you say about Steph Curry? Simply one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. And Brent, Steph Curry has so much love for this game. And he's a true ambassador for the sport. Well, with Steph, anything that he touches seems to turn to gold. I mean, he, he loves hoops no matter what it is. Supports the women's games. Is involved with youth athletics in the Bay Area and back home in Charlotte. And this guy just loves to see the sport grow as much as he has. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. Curry can't get it to go. The Knicks have gone 2 of 3 from the field to start the second half. Here's DiVincenzo. Plays it up and banks it in. DiVincenzo has to be agile on the interior, and that time finds a way to get it done. Curry deciding where to go with it. Wiggins passes to Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got his fourth rebound in this one. Brunson against Curry. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. And he takes that one up and powers it through. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. And Kaminga throws it down. 
to love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Brunson against Curry. Brunson, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Outside Curry. Misses the three. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And here's Brunson. He's got ten. New York calls timeout. Time time Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. Stephen Curry and New York making a change here. One fifty two left in the third quarter. McBride's shot is off. Warriors leading by 11. Passes it to Paul. Now Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Golden State moving it around. Lock at six. Let's it go with a three. And Chris Paul hits from deep. Paul's got five minutes. If he gets a good look, Paul's going to make you pay from distance. Thompson against DiVincenzo. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Now here's Paul. A 12-point game. Thompson outside. Ball is screen on DiVincenzo. Back to Paul. Pass to Looney. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Paul passes to Thompson. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his seventh assist here tonight. Now here's Bogdanovich. He has five. Releases. And he hits the jump shot. He has seven. For the position he plays, Bogdanovich good at directing traffic, creating chances to score. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a size of the lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. But you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Hart is out there with Bogdanovich. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Sims in at the center. Curry on the wing. Offensive rebound to the wing right side. Screen by Sharch. Oh. 
And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Team scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Knicks trail by 18. Now, Brunson. Outside, Bogdanovich. They set the pick. Back to Brunson. Six to shoot. To the inside, Sims. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Pajemski. Brunson with some nice D. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Back to Hart. Pass to Brunson. Warriors with the rebound. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Here's Paul. Good. And the Warriors lead by 20. Chris Paul still slippery on the inside when he gets close to the hoop. He'll find a way to score. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Bogdanovich, no luck. Warriors have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Paul left side. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Brunson against Paul. Brunson kicks to Hart. Here's Sims. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Trains the three-pointer. Total focus from Bogdanovich on that shot. Ready to fire off the feed. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Curry. And he lays it straight in. Curry's got 23 points. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. New York time calls out, time timeout. Out. And as things present themselves Sorry. throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Change it up. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Wiggins against Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. A jump hook, and the Knicks miss again. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Higgins outside. Buries the long-range jumper. So much talk about Steph's scoring ability, but he's also a great facilitator. The Knicks shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Brunson against Curry. Now here's Brunson. Not a lot of room. Hartenstein, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help this team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Now here's Curry. Now the pass to Green. 
And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the camp. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That'll stay. Now, and an open after the missed three from Stephen Kirk. Thompson passes to Kirk. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth. But Trey. It's hauled in by Achua. Knicks trail by 20. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Passes it to Hartenstein. Back to Brunson. With the second effort, Hartenstein can't get it to go. Warriors leading by 20. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Warriors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this will make it 36 wins on the air for them. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Stephen Curry. He was extremely efficient offensively. Got good looks and really knocked down big shots all game long. And here is Peyton after Boyan Bogdanovich getting his shot to go from deep. Paul for three. And he's good on the three ball. That's good. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And the Knicks making a change here. Diakite is checked in. And that one misses. One of the things through the years that you respect about Chris Paul is that competitive fire, that competitive edge he brings to every game. He really does care only about winning. Here's McBride. Pass to Bogdanovich. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Now here's Paul. Here's Pajemski. Burks covering. Off with the layup. Hart with it. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony.